I am so excited to be making this message. Uh, this morning I was inspired, um, or really uh, this morning I was complimented, now I'm inspired, <laughs> by this message that um, my brother and friend had sent me and you know he was just complimenting um, the work that I've been doing and, and really expressing gratitude for it and that really meant a lot. It was really a beautiful exchange of just gratitude and you know because it was a surprise um, and because it just meant a lot like I was just really moved and compelled and reminded of another practice that I do you know as I shared in a previous vlog I am um, I cultivate a gratitude practice. I love to send letters to friends and to family members and just people for the way that they impact me. And one of the things I haven't done in a while is what I call a love drop. And it's it's kind of cheesy, but I like cheese, especially uh, especially commodity cheese. And I um, a love drop is um, the process of me um, creating little notes of of just encouragement and. Um, I think like I hope you know powerful messages that I leave throughout the city so whether I be at a coffee shop or at a restaurant um, these are all notes that I will leave like in the bill of a, of a restaurant um, or put in a tip jar or you know leave on like the windshield um, of somebody's car if I happen to be like at Target uh, and I feel like that um, it's just my little way of being able to share a positive message with people because I feel like so much, so many times, like we're bombarded by a lot of negative messages and I love, I love doing this. And so one of the things that I did, I brought some examples of just the, the messages that I made um, since I'll be doing that this week. And the first one, of course, is shine love, which is, you know, my um, personal mantra of being able to exude, exude um, love of life, love of people, love of my, my family. Um, and so shining love really is kind of a modern, you know, uses modern words, but I feel like it's really grounded in my, my understanding of the net teachings. You know, my Nelisa would say, everything begins in the home. And that idea of loving yourself, you know, we are our first home. Well, I say we're our second home. Our mom was our first home. Um, and, you know, that idea and that concept of, you know, owning where we are, where we're at, and, and loving that place um, is really important. And so shine love is mm, relational to the net teachings and comes from that, you know, being loving, respectful beings, people is really um, what we're taught and so shine love is something that always gets in a love drop it always makes it um, makes the list in terms of phrases I use um, another one that I made which is actually kind of funny so I started off by writing I see you and because of the way I use these I thought that would actually be really creepy if I found that on my car so I added the dot 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 um, I see you keep changing the world um which i feel like makes it a lot more encouraging and way less creepy so um i thought that was a really smart idea and so i wanted to share this practice um because i think it's really important to share with others you know how they impact us or and i feel like this is a really great way to be able to give a compliment to somebody and you know if you're if you're fearful of like those face-to-face -face exchanges you know it can be a very simple way of just saying like i recognize like what you're sharing and i appreciate that and i think sometimes we, we don't always we don't always know the effort that it takes for somebody to share their gifts you know to share their gifts with us whether that be a viewpoint they might have in a conversation that we're sharing that makes us think a little bit differently to you know something that um somebody shares in other ways like maybe it's a blog or a song like at karaoke you know there are many different ways that we can be scared or can be fearful or unsure of ourselves and I think sometimes by being able to express gratitude by giving a compliment by you know sending the love drop um, these are all ways that we can share um, 
that expression or just share the importance of somebody in, in our lives. And so I encourage you, um, if you if you want to try this idea on, um, feel free to use the hashtag that I created. All of these have hashtag that love light life on it. And I'm such a big um, proponent of just sending love and goodness and light out into the world because I feel like that's the best way that we can, um, you know, just support each other. I really believe that, you know, in the Na language we have the term Bilashlai, which is five fingered people. And I really think that that term would not exist, that word would not exist if we weren't meant to relate to each other. And so I think that that's really critical. And, you know, sometimes things that might be a little bit cheesy, um, like sending a love note, you know, to somebody you don't know, um, by leaving it, you know, in for your waitress or waiter. Um, these are all things that help us connect to each other. And I think that the world needs more of that, you know, us being empathetic, um, to each other. And so I wanted to share that and encourage you to, to do this and it doesn't have to be through a love drop. Um, but I think that you all are amazing and I um, look forward to maybe finding um, a love note of your own uh, on on Instagram or Facebook. Um, you can tag at Grown Up Navajo um, if you want to share. Uh, that would be awesome. That would make me especially happy. Um, and I made a special one um, for you all, so keep shining. Um, I am so excited and grateful to be on this path and I hope that I hope that this brings just a little bit of extra love and light um, to your life. Yeah.